I'm just going to talk for me about 10, 15 minutes about the project. And that's going to include uh, kind of the overarching study uh, that kind of led to these improvements and the, the project here, uh, the length of the project, the project area, and some of the, kind of the key improvements that will be built, um, the construction schedule, and what we know about the construction schedule right now anyway, and then uh, how to keep informed on the project as it goes forward as uh, with construction sometimes uh, things change and, and we'll be having weekly updates. And at the end, uh, definitely uh, this is your opportunity to ask questions and uh, if you have any comments to provide them. Uh, two ways of doing the questions and comments, you can at the bottom, at least on my screen, it's at the bottom, you can go to the chat and uh, put in your question or comment there. Or if you'd like to speak, uh, please raise your hand and John will unmute you uh, to let you ask your questions. So uh, appreciate uh, your time here uh, as we talk about the project here. So just again, um, the people that, that are here from the project team are myself, uh, Luke Lordy, he's the construction engineer for Ramsey County. So thanks Luke for being here today. And uh, Jono, who's been working uh, with several folks on the Ramsey County team to engage the public and uh, put together some information and making sure we're uh, keeping up with the project. Uh, to go over with the overarching, just kind of start how, how this project became, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the study that's shown there in yellow. And it really was around Rosedale Center, uh, included County Road B2 from Fairview over to Snelling. And then it also included Fairview to the south of County Road B2 uh, down to County Road B. And so there's a bigger, larger traffic study that looked at that area and these roadways. Um, and may the next slide, Jonah, please. And, and really kind of the purpose of that project was uh, the city, the county, and MnDOT had projects going on uh, each of those roadways. So we're doing kind of a coordination effort and another thing was that the Rosedale Center came in with expansion plans and you know, that included some redevelopment or additional development within that site. Also, they discussed and they've been implementing the, the conversion of that one-way roadway system within Rosedale Center to a two-way. So with, with those changes uh, in these projects, the, uh, the partners here decided they would like to do a traffic study and understand how uh, travel patterns might change and how that might impact uh, the roadway and the intersections and the traffic signals. And, and I think another major point when we were looking at the corridor and, and we had some experts walk uh, these corridors to really understand uh, kind of the pedestrian and walking along the corridors. So there was a lot of time thought how that may, may be improved and kind of going along with the, the Ramsey County All Abilities Network. So, those are kind of the things that kind of went into this study and those outcomes from that study and, and the report will be online on the county's uh, webpage uh, was this County Road B2 project that we'll talk about further. Uh, but to let you guys know, there will be another project that's along Fairview, uh, just south of County Road B2 through uh, the Trent Highway 36 interchange. And that was actually scheduled uh, for this spring, summer, fall construction, but it got moved back uh, to 20. 23, and there's a link there on the bottom of the slide on where you can get updates on that project if you're interested. So let's talk about the, the County Road B2 project that's under construction. Um, here the red line describes the, the project area. So we're going from uh, the west side here, Fairview Avenue, uh, through Snelling and over to Hamlin Avenue. Uh, what we're going to be doing is also along with the roadway, there's sidewalk construction. There's some missing pieces of sidewalk uh, that's represented by that dash line. So we're putting in a piece of sidewalk that's missing uh, on the north side of County Road B2 by Snelling. And there's actually then a little, it probably can't see it on the map. There's a little bit of uh, missing sidewalk there along Fairview Avenue, uh, just in that northwest quadrant along the north side there. So there's uh, getting sidewalk replaced. The other thing that will be happening is there's four traffic signals that will be uh, replaced. So they'll be removed and there'll be new traffic signals. Uh, those are at Fairview, as you see there. Then the next one to the east, which is uh, right by the Portillo's and Wells Fargo. Uh, then the other one is uh, the third one over is at Rosedale Commons. 
and the fourth one there is at American Street. So those signals will be be uh, totally replaced with new signals. This is just kind of a little bit to, to remind if I missed anything here about what's going on, I may give you a little bit more detail. So that red line uh, that we showed with the construction limits, what we'll be doing is really, it's a, a roadway resurfacing. What they'll go out there and do is mill off the existing uh, poor pieces of pavement and it'll get a new uh, surface. And along with that, they, there usually is a you know, repair that needs to be done along the curb lines and to any drainage structures, structures that are along there. So that's kind of within that roadway footprint that you're gonna see some improvements uh, and repairs to those uh, specific um, infrastructure. Mentioned that the traffic signal replacements at the four intersections, uh, what those will get is obviously they'll be new, so they'll, they'll look, uh, look nice, but they'll also be updated uh, to include APS, um, which will be the audible signals that you can cross, include the pedestrian countdown timer so you can see you know, how much more walk before, before it changes, uh, so you can make that crossing. Uh, also, there's flashing yellow arrows, so it should be a little bit more efficient along the corridor uh, as we upgrade the signals. Uh, the other thing is the pedestrian improvements, and I mentioned the, the missing sidewalk. So that'll, uh, the two pieces of sidewalk that are missing, that'll be included with the project. Uh, then they'll also get updated with the, the new curb ramps, and all these will, uh, you know, uh, get applied to ADA standards, make sure that, uh, you know, people with disabilities are able to cross the streets and, and making all those improvements. Uh, one of the one of the main changes that you'll see from a roadway perspective is besides it looking nicer and, and getting the pavement replaced, um, is that we are doing some stuff at County Road B2 and Fairview Avenue. Uh, we're moving up Porchop Island and I have a, a better drawing that I'll show you. I think it's on the next slide. Yeah, so here's just something that I wanna point out. So you can just, there, there is a little bit of change as we went through the traffic study um, for the roadways. We did find some safety issues and pedestrian challenges. So uh, particular what we're talking about here, we're at the Fairview and County Road B2 intersection. And then uh, Portillo's is here right on the south and Wells Fargo's on the north to help you get kind of orientated. Uh, today, we would add that northbound uh, right turn that is this, what we'll call a free right Port Chop Island. And as you come around that corner, a majority of those people are not interested in staying in that lane and have to change lanes and then you have a release of people going kind of row B2 that might be going to the mall and we have this short little weave. And as we looked at safety in the area, there was, there was a, a crash problem. Uh, also, it was a, a, a challenge for the pedestrians to cross here, cross that island as, as vehicles are traveling pretty fast. And, and those drivers, a lot of times are trying to look in gaps in traffic coming around County Row B2. So kind of what's going on in the existing, so what we're proposing here, or what's gonna get built as part of the project is to remove that that free ride island and replace it with right turn lanes and uh, having a better uh, pedestrian environment and a safer uh, movement of traffic. The construction schedule. So I'll give you a little bit more detail as we as we find out more. Um, but right now we, we kind of had originally here that uh, construction begin in mid August. You're going to see probably a lot more of the work probably being done in September and October. And then completion will be done by mid-November, and we're it's uh, written into the contract that we need to get this done before, uh, you know, all the the holiday season and and all of, all of that. And the contractor obviously knows that as well. Uh, as we've kind of went forward, we know a little bit more details. We know that uh, uh, the county and city will be meeting with the contractor to have a pre-construction meeting here on August 11th. So at that point in time, it's when they learn more information about the project and kind of figure out what's going. Um, one of the kind of important scheduling items for the contractor is when they get the, uh, the uh, signal poles, the traffic signal poles. And uh, those are usually take a while and the county is thinking ahead. So they did order the poles, but they're probably not gonna arrive till early September. So uh, there might be some minor work here before early September, but really there won't be probably a lot to be noticed until they probably get into doing the traffic signal work here probably starting early, mid-September. Um, and then I think uh, as we kind of talked, there'll probably be a real heavy time for about two weeks where that milling and overlaying, taking off that old surface of the pavement and putting the new pavement, that'll be, that'll be very busy. 
And then, uh, and that'll probably be sometime in October. And then there'll be some minor work and restoration and cleanup that'll probably be as we get towards the end of the contract. And, you know, just kind of cover some of the activities that go on during the construction. Uh, access properties will be maintained throughout the construction. We're not planning that there'll be any uh, uh, blockage of any access, but, but we do know there'll be short durations where there'll be limited access. We know as the, you know, as they're probably working the signals, there may be some times where we won't be able to get into the, you know, use a certain access when the milling machine goes by uh, certain driveways or, or, or signals or intersections, there may be times, but it should be short, short delays or short durations. If there are going to be longer durations, you know, the contractor or the county will let those who are businesses or, or residents uh, know that there's going to be some impacts or when that'll occur so we can work through that. Uh, there won't be any uh, detours or clo you know, permanent closures. We plan on keeping the road open the best we can, uh, even though we know there'll be times there'll probably be one lane in each direction. Um, when we get to the County Road B2 and Fairview intersection, that's a very busy intersection in both directions. Uh, so when the signal is going down and getting replaced by the new signal, there'll actually be a temporary signal uh, that will be there. So there will always be, well, the majority of the time or always there'll be a signal here at that major intersection uh, to help control traffic. Um, so then at those three other main intersections that we talked about, they're along County Road B2, um, when they are going through their change, uh, they will be always stop, but not all three will be out at the same time. There'll probably be one and no more, and they're not adjacent to each other at a time. So we'll be able to keep access, you know, try to do our best to keep access uh, along the corridor, uh, be it a, a signal of some sort. Um, you know, I, but it will be a busy place. So we, we would advise that, you know, people find alternative routes that aren't destined uh, for the corridor, at least uh, during these heavy times of construction. I think one of the important things, because we know that the construction schedule, you know, can change, weather can change, and and so keeping informed on the process of the project is important. Um, and again, if uh, access needs to be restricted, the contractor, the county, will let you get any property owners along the corridor nor in advance, so you're aware of it. Uh, there will be some on-site message boards that will make people aware of the construction and when it's actually beginning. And probably some of the best ways to keep in up to date is via the website uh, that's listed here. And what you can do, and I actually do this, I did this for my mom because she had a project in, uh, near her in Shoreview. Uh, and I clicked to subscribe to the roadway project. So you go to the website, there's a spot, you can click on that and that'll give you updates um, and when I've talked to Luke, we, you know, we just, well, they will, there'll be construction meetings every week and that information uh, that they get out of those construction meetings will be uh, forwarded to the, you know, put on the, the uh, website so people know what's going on. Um, and, you know, if you happen to live along the corridor and you got any questions, feel free to ask the contractor or anybody from the, con in the county to get some updates if you're, you need to know anything. So that's the best way of doing that. And uh, just uh, so you know, you know, uh, if you go on the website, you'll see Luke's name is mentioned there. Uh, here's his number, his email address. And I know Luke is on top of these his projects and always willing to help out and help people understand what's going on with the project. So feel free to call, contact Luke or Luke will make sure you get the right person uh, to talk to. That kind of concludes our part of the, of, of the presentation. I didn't really want to, spend a whole bunch of time uh, talking to you guys. I want to give you everybody an opportunity to uh, have, if you have questions to ask them or have comments uh, to share them.